Before this video begins, I just wanted to tell you guys that I actually made a video of me trying to skateboard for reals. Uh, I fell a bunch of times and it hurt a lot. So if you want to check that one out, I'll put a link down below. What is up guys, Zach here. Welcome back to another episode of ASMR with Sexy Zach. Today, we're going to be doing some... <laughs> ASMR. <laughs> I kind of I kind of walked myself into a trap there. Obviously, I'd be doing ASMR if it was an ASMR video. But no, today we're actually back with some more Skate 3 multiplayer battles. This is actually a fan favorite among you guys. I don't know why you guys like watching me just destroy everyone. Okay, that was a little rough. All right, let me rephrase that. I don't know why you guys uh, like watching me do multiplayer so often because I feel like multiplayer is a lot of just watching other people go. But you know what? If you guys like multiplayer... We're doing some multiplayer! Oh wow, this is not what I expected. I thought we were like 100% gonna get a Super Ultra Mega Park um, spot battle, but instead it looks like we're doing a Hall of Meat battle. Alright, I'm all for it. I don't think I've ever done a multiplayer Hall of Meat. I might have, but I can't recall the last time I did one. I like this guy's outfit. It's like really color coordinated. Anyways, uh, why are these guys jumping off the edge? Oh, you can probably land down here. Alright, hold on, hold on. If I land this on my very first try, everyone watching this video has to Venmo me $10. And you agreed when you clicked on the video. Ooh, that was close. All right, well, if I landed on my second try, see, this is uncut, so you guys know I'm not lying to you. Second try, you have to Venmo me $5. Oh! Oh, I did it! <laughs> Every... <laughs> oh, my goodness. Now you have to Venmo me $5. Uh, my Venmo is on the screen. Uh, you have to send me $5 or else you're not a true fan. Just kidding. Please don't Venmo me $5. I actually do a lot of hollow meets over on my uh, second channel. If you guys didn't know, I have a road to a million board sales on my second channel, where it's basically just me playing the uh, story mode. So I skate around, I do all the challenges I can find, and uh, it's pretty fun. I'm trying to get to a million board sales. So if you guys want to check out that series, uh, I'm already like 10 episodes in, but you don't really need to watch the first 10 to understand what's going on. It's just Skate 3. Uh, link will be down in the description. It's on my second channel. Shameless plug. Buy my merch. Just kidding, I don't have merch. Uh, if I did have merch, though... Um, I'd probably shamelessly plug it. Alright, well, uh, the host left, so that's cool. Now we have a new host, but I'm still frozen. Oh, nope, there we go. Oh, and he left as well. Looks like uh, Zooksy Zooks the host. Alright, this time I queued into a team battle because I don't think that many people are playing versus right now. So hopefully we actually get a freaking game. I don't want to sit here and do nothing for this whole video. So it's kind of like a roll of the dice. You never know what you're going to get. Oh, wow, we're actually not on the Super Ultra Mega Park. We're on the, um, oh, what's this place called? Is it the... No, that's something else. I don't remember what this place is called. I just know that it's awesome. I really like skating here. It's like the Monster Energy place. Is it called the like Monster Park Jam or something? I don't, I don't remember. But I really do like this place, and we might actually be in a 1v1 with Sniffable Fawn 10. Hopefully, uh, okay, yeah, he's definitely not AFK, which is good. He might be waiting for a few more players, which is, which is fine. But uh, yeah, I'm actually really hoping that this game gets started because I forgot about this spot. This is actually a really fun place to skate. I could honestly make an entire video on just this like location because this place has so many like transfers and so many bowls, and like it does have that huge like mega ramp. This this place is cool. Oh, nice! He started it. We're doing a one v one. I think it. I don't know if it's a training contest or not. I usually I think it says training contest. If it is. I don't know what this is. Let's let's find out. All right, of course, the guy on the red team is wearing blue, and me, the guy on the blue team, is wearing red. A little confusing. And I'm wearing a red bandana, and my chair is red, and uh, my headset actually is red as well. All right, so we're starting with the jam. Uh, basically, you just have to get as many points as you can if you are unfamiliar with the format of this uh, battle. Uh, I landed really poorly right there. I don't even think I'm going to land on this side. Oh, sometimes you have to improvise. Oh! I landed that in a grind somehow. All right, well, 18,000 points off the first trick. Uh, oh, I was trying to do a rocket air for some reason. My brain just malfunctioned. All right, we got to start with the tail walk, into the manual, into the rocket air. 900? Oh, no, not even close. I, I didn't even do a 540. I, I thought I could do a 900 for some reason. All right, clearly, uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Let's just do a tail walk, get some massive points real quick. Uh, sometimes you just got to go for the big points. And up here, we'll do the rocket air, because the rocket air actually gets mad points as well. Oh, there we go. What do we have? 40,000 points? That's a good start. Let's uh, start with a front flip. We'll do a no foot air. Uh, we'll do a yeah, miracle whip backwards. Uh, I like trying to call my tricks. It kind of helps me learn the names. Uh, this is going to be a judo. Nice. Nice. And there we go. That's a pretty good run. I got 55,000 points. I wonder if I could ever get to 100,000. Might be a little difficult, but I did my best. 
Uh, mainly all you have to do is tail walk, and you can probably get to 100,000. Not too difficultly. Difficultly. Is that a word? Speaking of difficultly, uh, this second part of the challenge is usually one I'm not very good at. Uh, this, like, bowl jam. Uh, I'm, I just am not good in bowls. People always give me advice on how to get more speed, something about pumping. Uh, I don't really know what that means, and I don't do it, which is probably why I suck in bowls. And this isn't even a bowl, but uh, just getting the message across. I'm not very good in these, like, smaller, structured, uh, what am I, formats, I guess? I don't even know what I'm trying to say. All right, uh, let's just jump, <laughs> let's jump into this bowl. This bowl is way cooler. This one has way more opportunities for me to get some points. I know everyone in the comments is already saying, hey John, how about you stop doing tail walks? And I'd say to that, hey, viewer, no. Okay, that was, that was a good discussion, guys. I like keeping this interactive. It's just like, I don't know, when I'm in these bowls, I have to stay interesting with my commentary. And that's difficult for me because I'm not a very interesting person. I usually let the skating talk for itself. But when I'm just like, floating around, pushing Mongo left and right, not knowing what I'm doing, landing in a pretty sick uh, position. I don't really know what to do. I don't think I've ever gotten 26,000 points on this part, though. Wow, that was a lot of talking right there. That's probably the most talking I've ever done in my whole life. Let's see. All right, we got, we actually got 30,000 points, which is actually impressive for that round. If we add that to our first score, we're at... This part I've also never been great at. This is kind of like, uh, it's supposed to imitate street skating. Uh, but I'm just not very good at it for some reason. I'm just I'm more used to the Super Ultra Mega Park and like all the big rails and the big ramps I'm actually not doing too badly right now. I'm trying to get a grind. There we go. Oh, actually I didn't land it All right. Well, we're already at 2200 points, which isn't that bad I tried to drop in there and as you can see it did not work. Oh, all right. Let's try to hit this grind There we go. Nice Nice, nice, nice. I missed that grind because I'm garbage at this game Let's see if we can get all the way to the end without bailing. That might not sound that hard, but when I'm doing like crazy unrealistic tricks like this, uh, I bail quite frequently. And not just bailing, I'm also saying like if I lose all my momentum, like this kind of. I can I can recover here though. Sometimes it's just like, you might as well just go back to your marker. Oh, what? All right, I don't know why that didn't work, but we bailed, so let's go back to start. He's beating me! Ah! Wait, I can't clickbait this video with destroying people in multiplayer if I lose. Okay, hold on. We're about to step it up real hard. We're about to pull out the tail walks in this street skating competition. All right, let's see if I can just land this grind. Oh, there we go. All right. He's still beating me. Why is this guy insane? What is he doing? Hold on. Is he just like jumping off and doing tail walks? I have not seen him actually skating out here. This guy is definitely pulling a quick one on me. Because I'm out here skating the actual park, and I'm pretty sure he's just jumping off and doing like tail walks over and over. What is he doing? What is he doing? Is he- okay, hold on. This guy's actually just jumping off of here and trying to get as many points as he can. Two can play at that game, sir! Alright, there's actually no way I can catch up to him at this point. I can't believe he did that! This guy didn't even skate, he just jumped off of this and did a bunch of tricks and got as many points as he could. You know what? I kind of admire his- his creativity there. Wow. Well, technically I still won the overall battle. Uh, this was kind of a cool trick. I like this one. But- Ah, oh, that was kind of bogus. I'm actually upset about that. I can't believe he did. I, I can't, can't believe, believe he done you've this. done this. Ah, uh, yes. As you can see, I was still the winner. So let's try to find another battle. Uh, if we could do another one v one, that'd be cool. Because then, then I could also clickbait uh, destroying people in one v ones. You can probably guess if you read the title of this video and it doesn't say destroying people in one v ones, chances are the next game I find is not a one v one. So. You already know that it's going to be a 1v1, or it's not going to be a 1v1, based on the title. For some reason, I couldn't find any more versus matches. It's like no one was playing versus, so I'm joining a team lobby, which basically um, guarantees it'll be, yep, a Super Ultra Mega Park battle, which isn't a problem at all. I do love playing on Super Ultra Mega Park. There's so many, like, options, but sometimes it's fun to get that, uh, that occasional ditch or uh, other spot. Well, you know what? If I have to destroy people on Super Ultra Mega Park, I'm gonna destroy some people on Super Ultra Mega Park, and that's just the way it's gonna go, you know? Gotta pull out the dog piss. That's a pretty, uh, pretty underrated trick, I'd say. You get some, you get some mad points with that one. All right, let's see what this guy has. Blue Arcade 12. Okay, he's starting it off with the 360 inward heel flip backside 540. You know, the basics. Uh, a no foot air. Interesting. Oh, another flip. All right, this guy is definitely someone who's gonna pull out a lot of flips. I can already feel it. There is wheels red. That's cool. I should get some red wheels. All right, let's see. Let's see how he uh, concludes this line. He's not doing too badly so far, actually. 
Uh, oh, oh, the hand is behind the back. Another flip. Uh, ooh, that was a nose manual front flip. That's actually pretty impressive. This guy's putting together actually a really nice line. He didn't really do the big spot to get the big air points, but oh, that was actually a nice little like olipop. I'm, I'm interested to see how many points he finishes with. My goal is usually to get 30,000 points. Oh, he just did like a weird wall ride. This guy's having a pretty good run. Uh, but yeah, my goal is usually to try to get around 30,000 points. Doesn't always happen. Sometimes I can get more. Uh, I think once I got 50,000, but that's the most I've ever gotten. He put up a pretty good 15,800. Uh, let's see, yeah, my teammate's up next. Let's see if Zero Loops is a baller. I like the uh, the colored grip tape on top. Uh, that used to be so much easier to do. Oh, this guy's a, a Shaflanka, or if you don't know what Shaflankas are, uh, you're watching them right now. Uh, this is, well, that's the term we used to use back in the day, uh, back when I was on X7. I uh, bet you guys didn't know that, that X7 Albert and I used to be in the same clan. Uh, but yeah, this is these were called Shaflankas. It's basically what you do in ranked to try to get as many points as you can. Uh, we're in an unranked game right now, so I'm not really sure why this guy's doing this, but... You know what? If he gets mad points, he's on my team, so I'm not going to complain. It's not really all that fun to watch, but it's, it's cool. You know, it's, it definitely takes some skill. So I guess the ultimate challenge is going to be, can I beat this guy's score without trick spamming and uh, doing uh, like a ranked strategy to just get like max points? 50,000, this would actually break my record. I've never gotten 50,000 points before, and uh, I'll tell you guys right now, it is highly unlikely that I get anywhere near 50,000 points. I'd have to I'd have to bust out the big plays, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, I actually already missed the spot I wanted to hit, so you know what? This isn't going to be the best run, I've already decided, so we're just going to have some fun with it. Let's, let's hit him with the coffin. No one ever expects the coffin. Whoa! They probably think I'm so bad. It's okay, though. As long as I pull out the tail walk, they'll know that I'm good. Because tail walks equal good in this game. Uh, let's do a miracle whip, you know. We've already kind of thrown away this run. There's no chance I'm getting a lot of points on this one. Uh, I mean, I pro I could probably beat the other guy, but if I hit this, if I actually hit the uh, spot I was trying to hit, I'll be a lot better off. I don't even I don't even know what I'm doing. I've actually like never come down here before in a spot battle, so <laughs> I guess I, I guess I'm going back the other way now. Not really sure what to do. Oh, ooh, let's try to hit the glitch spot since we're here. Hopefully I don't bail running down these rocks. Uh, you kind of only have one chance at this, or else you're gonna get embarrassed. Oh well, there, there, there it goes. I'd say that was that was not not the best effort. Huh! Well, that was a pretty terrible run on my part. I missed the glitch spot twice, and uh, it was quite embarrassing. Oh, is this guy just gonna trick spam now? Oh, please don't. Oh, ooh, that was actually kind of cool. Well, we have two trick spammers in the lobby. Uh, you know, not really, not really the most fun you can have, but. All right, well, technically now this is a 1v1. <laughs> it's me versus Blue RK12. We both have, uh, actually, no, he only has one run left. I have two runs left. Uh, here we go. I hit my spot perfectly. Thank goodness. We're going to start with the rocket air. Uh, people who don't usually expect the rocket air. Uh, then obviously we're going to have to hit the tail walk here because uh, we need the points. Uh, I'm not going to, I'm not going to be too dangerous. Oh no, what? Ah, I missed, <laughs> I missed the ramp. I actually like hit the spot in between the two like ramps going up. Oh, I actually never make that mistake. That was two bad runs in a row from me. Oh no, my clickbait title. It's becoming less authentic. It's becoming more clickbait and less truth. Well, I have one run left to beat this guy. If he tops his score, it might be a little difficult. It's gonna be it's gonna be a buzzer beater finish. If he just uh, trick spams, I'm gonna be pretty upset because that's uh. Oh, we messed up. Nice. All right, so I have to get 16,000 points to win. I could go the safe way. We both know I'm not going the safe way. I'm going to try to hit my spot. If I mess up, I might go the safe way, but let's be honest. I'm not going to mess up three times in a row. That's just not possible. He left. He left the game, but I'm going to pretend that he didn't leave the game. <laughs> hey, guys, back back with this 1v1. It's totally not just me and this guy. Uh, I'm just going to try to hit 16,000 points because it's just me in the lobby now. All right, we're pulling out my two favorite tricks back to back. Tail walk into the rocket air. Into, you already know, the dog piss. What is that, 720? All right, uh, as long as I land this, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get the 16,000 that I need. Uh, land that in a manual because I'm saucy like that. And boom, there we go, 16-7. Basically, I won this 1v1. Can I get up to 50,000 points? Uh, you know, probably not. It's a, little, it's a little out of my control at this point, but... Let's see, we can still do some air walks though. You know, it looks like we're in, oh wait. That's not how you do an air walk. There we go. Air walks, uh, I don't actually do air walks that often because I'm almost always in Goofy. So I just do the uh, tail walks, but. All right, we got like 25,000 points. We never hit 30,000, which is a bit disappointing because that's usually like my benchmark. 
but you know what? Technically, I'm gonna say we won the 1v1 right there. Anyways, guys, that is gonna do it for this video. Hopefully, you guys had some fun watching these 1v1s. Totally not clickbait. If you guys would like to see some more Skate 3 videos, make sure you absolutely smash that wonky button. What's the wonky button, you may ask? Well, if you don't know, then you don't know. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you tune in this weekend if you want to see me uh, try skateboarding in real life again. This weekend, I'm going to try to do some ollies and pop shove -its. Should be some fun, so make sure you subscribe if you're new. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, stay sexy. See you guys.